In this video, I talk about the top 10 tips every DJ should know. How's it going everybody? It's DJ Hims here. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new, thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. That way you are notified of all the DJ tips and product reviews that I release when I do release them. So in this video, I am talking about the top 10 tips every DJ should know. I did my homework, I took some notes, I, I, I thought hard about this and I was like, you know what? This is a good list right here. So let's go ahead and get started. Tip number one that every DJ should know is you should always have extended mixes, 10 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. There's gonna be times where you need to leave the DJ booth. For me, you know, when I'm a club DJ and I see somebody come in, somebody that, you know, uh, uh, shared my flyer, liked my flyer, supported my promotion on Facebook, when they come in, you know, I like to give them a, a, a sponsor shot. If you guys want to know what a sponsor shot is, it's usually when I ask the bar, the, the club owner, the bar owner, or the promoter, I ask them, hey, is there any way you can sponsor me? In other words, is there any ways you can give me 15 or 20 shots for free? These shots are not for me. They're going to be for the people that come in and responded to the, the Facebook social media promotion. So when I see that person come in, you know, I'm going to get, I'm going to get out of the DJ, well, I'm going to play an extended mix, get out of the DJ booth. Go say hi to that person. Hey, thank you so much for coming out. Can I buy you a shot? You know, I buy them a shot. Maybe that person wants to talk to me for a few minutes or maybe the bartender's a little bit backed up and we're gonna have to wait a few minutes. So always have an extended mix just in case you need to get out the DJ booth. Tip number two, beginner DJs especially or DJs that are being naive. There, there exists a big chunk of shady promoters and shady club owners. You gotta be careful, you gotta be sharp, you gotta have an, a keen eye. The best way for me to, to deal with this shadiness, so I've been DJing since I was 16. I'm 28, so you know, a little over 10 years. And when I was younger, I was naive, and I, I become friends with the club promoters, I become friends with the club owners, and you know, they take advantage of me. They fucking be shady about it. So be, be smart, and this is the best way to avoid that. Just don't be friends with them. Just do business. You're there to play music, get paid, and get out of there. You know, be cool, be nice. Hey, man, how you doing? But just don't build that friendly relationship because once you do, that's when they start taking advantage of you. Tip number three is to not take advantage of the free drinks. I've DJed a few places where they, they just give free, drink, free drinks to the DJ. And especially when I was younger, you know, 21, 22, and I was like, oh, shit, I get free drinks? There was times that I took advantage of it, and then the, the management, they humbled me real quick. They called my attention. They were like, what are you doing, man? We, we're giving you free drinks. We're giving you a privilege, and you're over here taking advantage of it. I got humbled really quick, guys, so I don't want you guys to go through that. Maybe some of you have to go through that. Maybe you are taking advantage, and you need to get humbled. But for the most part, don't do it. Don't take advantage of it, and you just appreciate that perk. Tip number four is to not spam your audience, your social media audience, your followers on Facebook and Instagram. Once you have that flyer, you want to, you know, want to post it not too many times. Once, twice, another trick that you guys can do is go to Fiverr, you know, if, and um, get two or three different versions of the flyer that the club provided to you. So if the club sends you a flyer in an email, go to Fiverr, and, you know, send that, fly, send that flyer to that freelancer and just tell them, hey, can you make me two, three different versions of this flyer? It'll cost you 10, maybe 15 bucks, but it's a good investment that pays off. The club owner or the club promoter are going to look at you like, hey, man, where'd you get these flyers? Oh, don't worry. You know, I, I, got, I got my guy that does flyers for me and I figured I drew up different versions of it to promote the night. This makes you look good and to the club owner and the promoter, also the audience, your Facebook followers, they see like that you have variation and you're not just spamming, you know, posting the same flyer over and over again. Tip number five is to learn how to rock the microphone. DJ, stop being scared. Break out of your shell, you know, practice at home. There, there are DJs here that they call me and they're like, hey, hey man, uh, you know, I got this wedding and, uh, you know, I just I don't talk in the mic. Uh, can, can I pay you like 200 bucks to come, you know, rock the mic? hell yeah I'm gonna come give me those 200 bucks I'll talk in the mic all night long so guys you know save that extra 200 bucks even at the clubs too I've been hired for the clubs just to be the MC and I always think to myself like I mean hell yeah I'll come in talk in the mic and get paid but 
man, these DJs could do it too. All you need is some practice. And that's it, guys. So learn how to rock the mic. Number six, learn how to say no. No, I'm not going to play a request. No, this isn't Kocheck. No, I cannot get six of your friends in after midnight. No, guys, learn how to say no. Don't be a people pleaser. Don't be a yes man. When you got to say no, say no. Tip number seven is to always walk out with someone after you're done DJing, especially a security guard. And don't be a tough guy. Don't be all, man, ain't nobody going to rob me. I'm going to walk out of here. What? Ain't nobody going to do nothing to me. I'm tough. Uh-uh-uh. Don't, even if you're the toughest guy, you're tough as nails, how are you going to handle three guys trying to jump you for your DJ equipment? And at that time of the night, three, four, five in the morning, people are on pills, drunk, you know. So always, always walk out with someone, especially, preferably, a security personnel. Tip number eight, if you're getting, if you're getting, if you're planning to get drunk, if you're planning to get wasted, if you're DJing on your birthday, which I have and I got annihilated, plan a ride home, you know, Uber, pay someone to stay sober, your cousin, mom and dad, like someone that you trust, you know, your girlfriend, just plan a ride home, guys. Make sure you get home safe if you plan to get, you know, annihilated. Tip number nine is to always have a backup mix ready. Uh, technology, electronics, DJ equipment are never 100% reliable. So you have to have a, a backup mix ready, you know, either being a, a CDJ with a CD, your phone with an auxiliary cord, a tablet with Spotify, Pandora, something where if something goes wrong, you don't have to, oh, oh my God, you don't have to panic. You just hit play on a tablet, let the music run, and you fix your, your technical difficulties. Tip number 10 is to never, never settle for a residency. And I talk from experience. Everything here, all these bullet points, all these tips are from experience. You never want to settle for a residency. You'll get washed up. You'll get played out. People will get bored of you. I was a resident DJ at this club for two years. Every Saturday for two years. And guys, I got played out. People will be like, oh, the same fucking DJ, the same music. And as DJs, you know, we rely on certain mixes, certain songs to get the people going. And um, some people will come up to me and be like, hey, once you played that song, I knew what song was coming up next. You DJ here every Saturday. And I'm just like, damn, I'm getting played out. So don't get played out. Be, be relevant. You know, being a resident DJ at a certain club for a long period of time, you'll become irrelevant. So be relevant. If a club asks you, hey, you know, we really like you. Would you like to be a resident here? Be like, yeah, you know what? I could be a resident here, but like two or three times a month. That way you stay fresh, you stay relevant, and you know you can move around and be a resident DJ at other places. So that pretty much is it. This wraps it up for the top 10 DJ tips every DJ should know. Guys, I wanna let you guys know for beginner DJs especially, if you need some help, if you're stuck in your DJ career, if you just can't get gigs, you need momentum, and you wanna ask me a question or reach out for advice, I have a link in the description below click the link, ask me anything you want, and all I ask for is a small donation. $1, $2, $3, whatever you guys like. Besides that, if you like this video, like this video, give me a thumbs up, share this video with your DJ friends, follow me on Instagram, and guys, remember, always, always stay smart.